In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lamb of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Moisic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Moisak law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with a compact unity. To it, the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord, 
Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You, all, or you are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, and become my disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Meron pong isang kwento kung saan Merong mag-asawa na matagal nang magkahiwalay. Meron silang isang anak. Nasimula nung sila'y naghiwalay itong lalaki, hindi naman niya pinabayaan yung kanilang anak, kundi bagkos sinuportahan niya ito. Dumating sa edad yung bata, 18 years old. Sabi ng ama sa dalaga na nalang anak, Anak, last na check na ito na matatanggap niyo. Dalaga ka na, pakisabi sa nanay mo, hanggang dito na lang ang suporta mo. Pagkatapos, tignan mo kung anong reaksyon ng iyong nanay. Mabait naman itong anak, kaya ang sabi niya, sige tay, sasabihin ko kay nanay. Pag uwi, sinabi nga ng dalaga ang pinasasabi ng kaniyang ama. Sabi nung dalaga, o oh, nay, last na check na daw itong ibibigay ni tatay. Dalaga na daw ako. Pagkatapos daw po, tignan ko kung ano ang reaksyon niyo. Kulang ang nanay sa sinabi ng anak. Pagkatapos sabi ng nanay sa anak, O sige anak, wala namang problema. Ngayon, pakisabi rin sa iyong ama, Pag nagkita kay uli, Maraming salamat sa tulong niya. At pakisabi rin sa kanya, Maski hindi kanya anak, Tinulungan kanya. Tapos, tignan mo rin ang reaksyon kung anong magiging reaksyon niya. Sa panahon po ng pandemya, ano ang re reaksyon natin sa ating relasyon sa Diyos? Nasa kabila ng lockdown, kabila ng distancing, kabila ng pagtatakip ng muka, Nabago ba ang ating relasyon sa Diyos? Tumabang ba ang ating pakikipagrelasyon sa Diyos? Or mas lalong lumalim? Ano ang reaksyon natin sa napakahirap na sitwasyon natin ngayon? 
sa ating ibanghelyo kung tayo'y nakinig at nagsimba naman tayo noong linggo. The same gospel last Sunday wherein Christ is telling us He is the vine, we are the branches. Wherein, sa ginamit niyang ito, para bagang tinatanong niya, kumusta ang relasyon natin sa Kanya? Nananatili ba tayo sa Kanya sa kabila ng hamon ng buhay na nasa ating harapan ngayon? Lalo bang tumitinggad ang ating pakikipagrelasyon sa Diyos natin or natatalo na dahil sa hirap ng sitwasyon na ating hinaharap. Ganun pa man inaanyayahan niya tayong manatili sa Kanya sa kabila ng hirap ng hamon ng buhay sapagkat sabi niya, wala tayong magagawa kung wala siya. At dahil dito, inaanyayahan niyang manatili tayo sa Kanya. Sapagkat sa pananatili sa Kanya, mamumunga tayo ng sagana. At sa pananatili sa Kanya, lalo pa tayong bubuting tao dahil nga iprupron niya Puputulin niya ang mga hindi kaaya-aya sa atin para lalo pa tayong mamunga. Gagawin niya tayong isang magandang nilalang, puhubogin ayon sa wangis niya. Yan ang nais niya kung bakit inaanyayahan niya na tayo'y manatili sa Kanya. At dahil dito makikita natin Ganyan magmahal ang Diyos sa atin na sa kabila ng ating kahinaan, nais pa rin niyang manatili tayo sa Kanya upang hubugin tayo ng naaayon sa kagustuhan Niya. Na sa paghubog Niya sa atin, tuturuan Niya tayo ng mga bagay nakaaya-aya hindi lamang sa mata ng Diyos maging sa ating kapwa. Ang kaso lang kasi ang tao, masyadong matigas ang ulo, masyadong matigas ang puso. Kaya minsan, ayaw manatili kay Kristo. Ang mga turo niya ay taliwas sa kagustuhan ng tao minsan. Pag sinabi ni Kristo magpatawad, Anong ginagawa ng tao, higanti at galit? Pag sinabi ni Kristo mag magkaisa, ang gusto ng tao'y kanya-kanya. Pag sinabi ni Kristo magpakababa, anong ginagawa ng tao, lalo siyang nagpapakataas. Kaya sa pananatili sa Kanya, huhubugin niya tayo nang naaayon sa kagustuhan niya at kaaya-aya sa ating kapwa. Dito ipinapahayag sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon kung bakit nais niyang manatili tayo sa Kanya upang sa ganon tayo'y mamunga ng kaaya-aya at maibahagi ito sa ating kapwa. Tumayo po tayo. United as one body of worshipers in the Lord, we bring our needs with confidence before God, our Father. In every prayer, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, may draw all Christians to His church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that priests, religious, and missionaries may be co committed to their vocation in the church and remain united with Christ in their work. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those tried by life, difficulties, may be faithful to Christ and His gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see Christ as the source of strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may remain in Christ forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we offered our own personal intention, especially the intentions of all the parishioners of St. Michael the Archangel, Pag-asa Bambantarlap. Just as also we pray and include among our intention a thanksgiving mass offered by Mr. and Mrs. Ruben Ortiz, as they are celebrating their wedding anniversary, Maria Crescentia McCabe, as she is, celeb she is she's celebrating her birthday. Also, a Thanksgiving Mass offered by Tomas Ortiz and family, Maria Victoria Duco and family, Narda Newkirt and family, Ruby Ortiz and family, Joseph Ortiz and family. And also, we include among our intention for the special intention of the Tolentino Gilas family. And also, Panganiban family. Just as also we pray the special intention of Ludico. And also, we include among our prayers those people who are asking our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the eternal repose of our brothers and sisters, especially to Arthur Douglas McKay, Miguel Ortiz, Esperanza Mangalino, Jan Michael, Aurea Ortiz, Ruben Ortiz, Marianito Pule and all the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Hear our prayers and keep us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. For you know, my dear brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us weighty to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with him in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honors yours almighty father forever and ever amen please stand as one family of god let us sing the prayer of our lord jesus christ taught us
Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And now let us ask the Lord for peace. Peace to ourselves, peace to our family, peace to our country, and peace to the whole world. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit and now let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Paul peace be with you peace be with you Paul Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. We also include the mga intention, a Thanksgiving Mass offered by the Pablo family and Pule family. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray the Oratio Imperata. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priest revocation in the church in Lingayan Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christian. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his calls to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on, uh, may descend on your young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciples to the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant her prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray, Mary, help of Christians. We place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help, your presence, as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, which in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now have the prayer for the blessings of the sick. Hawakan niyo po yung masakit na parte ng katawan ninyo. Pilingin po ninyo ang tulong ng ating Inang Maria, si Apo Bakit, at naway iunat ng Panginoong Isokristo ang kanyang mapagpagaling na kamay sa inyong karamdaman. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Whole Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we will have the blessings of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, 
May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. The name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.